to ask All Saints Kids. So, what have we got coming up today? We've got our next challenge where me and Harry face off and see who can slide the furthest. And then we're going to have a Bible reading where we'll hear God's word and even some of it acted out. And then we're going to have a talk where we learn all about God and Jesus' next signpost miracle. And then we'll have a quiz and then we'll come back here. So let's go. Do you follow anyone? Often people follow people because it would be the sensible thing to do. Follow me. I'm the only person that knows the way up the mountain. Otherwise you will take the wrong route and freeze and get attacked by wolves. I'll follow you. Good choice. And sometimes people follow people because they're super interesting and cool and amazing and special. Hi, I'm Hariano DiCaprio. People follow me because I'm a super famous actor and I'm really cool. People always want my autograph. Can I have your autograph? No, come back! And today, we're going to see that Jesus should be followed. Hello and welcome to today's challenge. Now, we can't walk on water, but we can slide on it. So today's challenge, we'll see Kate and Harry see who can slide the furthest on this water slide you can see behind me. Uh, it'll be best of three and the winner will get five points. So let's see what happens. That evening, Jesus' followers went down to Lake Galilee. It was dark now and Jesus had not yet come to them. The followers got into a boat and started across the lake to Capernaum. By now, a strong wind was blowing and the waves on the lake were getting bigger. They rowed the boat about four or five kilometres. Then they saw Jesus walking on the water, coming towards the boat. The followers were afraid. But Jesus said, Don't be afraid, it is I. Then they were glad to take him into the boat. At once the boat came to land at the place where they'd wanted to go. The next day came. Some people had stayed on the other side of the lake. They knew that Jesus had not gone in the boat with his followers, but that they had left without him. And they knew that only one boat had been there. But then some boats came from Tiberias. They landed near the place where the people had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. The people saw that Jesus and his followers were not there now. So they got into boats and they went to Capernaum. They wanted to find Jesus. We asked at the beginning, didn't we? Who do you follow? Do you follow anyone? And we saw that, that, that there are two big reasons why, why we even follow people. Uh, it's because maybe it's important that we follow them. Or maybe we follow them because we're interested in them. And they're amazing, they're a special one. We want to know more about them. And we see today that Jesus is both these things. In verses 16 to 20, the bit we acted out, what did we see happen? Well, the followers, they were on a boat. And then out of nowhere, something is coming towards the boat on the water. And they are, they are afraid. Is it, is it a ghost? Is it some sort of weird, freaky fish that they've never seen before? No. Who was it? 
it was Jesus. And he said, don't be afraid, it is I. And then he got on the boat and then the boat arrived at where it wanted to go. Can anybody walk on water? No, only Jesus, because Jesus is God. And because Jesus is God, we should follow him. A guide who knows the way to, to the top of the mountain, he'd be a good person to, to follow on a mountain climb. Or maybe someone who knows the way to the shops would be a good person to follow if you want to get to the shops. So who would be the best person to follow to live our lives? Well, who created our lives? Who created us and knows all things? God. And Jesus is God. So we should follow him. The next bit we read, the bit with, the bit with no acting, in verses 22 to 24, we saw that people were on the other side of the lake and they kind of lost track of Jesus a little bit. They're like, where's he gone? They probably, uh, they probably didn't think he would be having a, a little trek on the water to get to, to get where he wanted to go uh, and to get on a boat. But they figured out where he must be. So they got in their boats and they set off because they wanted to find Jesus. These people knew Jesus was special. They were interested in him. He was amazing. And so they had a desire. They really, really wanted to follow him. And they were doing everything they could to do so. So we need to follow Jesus too. We, don't, might, we might not be able to actually follow him in his physical body right now. He's not walking about in Crowborough Town, is he? He's not doing his shopping down in Morrison's. But we can follow him by reading the Bible, by learning about him in the Bible at Sunday school and with these videos and seeing what Jesus has done for us and then living our life for him. We should follow him because he is God. Who better to follow? We should really, 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 really want to follow him as well. He is amazing and following him leads to eternal life. So now let's look at our signpost for today. So our signpost miracle today, we see that it is sensible to follow Jesus. He's God. Who best, who best to follow? And we also see that we should really want to follow Jesus, have a big desire to follow Jesus, because Jesus is amazing i'm going to pray now dear god thank you uh, that jesus is god thank you that he came down so that we could know him and love him and follow him thank you that we can follow him and thank you that he is so amazing and, and he's the and he's the best person to follow and that if we follow him then one day we will get to have eternal life with you in heaven Amen.
the scores. After the challenge today, Harry got five points, but he's still one point behind Kate. So there's all to play for in this quiz. Let's see what happens. Are you ready? Have you been listening? Have you been listening? Let's find out. Question one. Who walked on water? Uh, Harry. Jesus. Question two. What does ask stand for? Uh, Kate. All Saints kids. Question three. What was Harry's acting name? Uh, Harry. Harriano DiCaprio. Question four. Why should we really follow Jesus? Question four. Why should we really follow Jesus? Kate. Because he is God. And question five. How badly should we really want to follow Jesus? Kate. Really, 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 really badly because he's amazing. Well, how did you do in that quiz? Let's find out how Harry and Kate did. Harry got two and Kate got three. So Kate is the winner. Well done, Kate. I will add that to the scoreboard. There we go. Already added as if by magic. That means Kate is in the lead. And we all know that Harry now has to splat himself in the face. Well, thanks so much for joining us. It was really good to see you. We've just got time to check out the scores. Oh, well, Harry's on five, but Kate is on seven. So, I oh. know, I know, I'm sorry, Harry. Kate is in the lead, but only just. So next week, Harry could catch up. So we'll see you next week. Um, we've sent out activities for you to do today uh, or any time in the week, but why don't you do them right now and we'll see you soon. Bye!